recently, again, if, if you go to the next question about Ben Gurion University, uh, we've mentioned the um, uh, the technology by which you can translate thoughts, uh, brain activity into function. So people that are severely damaged and actually cannot move, cannot do anything, can operate a computer by ways of, of you know, translating the, uh, their thoughts and the brain um, activity, you know, uh, to some kind of, of emotion uh, on a computer. So using a helmet, it's like an, uh, with all kinds of, um, um, like an EEG helmet that, um, that, that has connections, superficial connections to and, and, and really monitor uh, brain activity. Well, Kermit syndrome is, a, is an, uh, a genetic disease, what we call uh, recessive disease. It means that uh, both parents need to be carriers, healthy carriers of a gene, and then they have 25% risk of having a child getting both abnormal genes from the parents and uh, showing the disease, which is a very serious, devastating disease. Um, it's a little disease. Uh, babies are being born um, with, with large areas of absent skin, no skin at all. So uh, you can see actually the muscles beneath a transparent membrane um, and um, they die within the, the first two or three um, weeks of age. It has, uh, it has other manifestations as well, but the skin manifestation is a central, uh, very uh, severe one. When I first described it in a, uh, in a Bedouin tribe in Israel, uh, I realized that it was something different and something new. And then it took me some years to really delineate the clinical syndrome and to try to understand how things, uh, what was the origin or what was the basis, the basic pathology bringing such a phenotype. Um, so, and when I was ready, to, um, to describe it in, in full, then it was recognized as a new symbol. And then about uh, 15 years later, we identified the gene that is causing this uh, disease. And that, that happened very recently, uh, four years ago. No, unfortunately not as of yet. Uh, we were trying several, um, uh, several treatment um, um, modalities uh, which were not successful at all. Uh, we are very hopeful that now, you know, knowing the gene and knowing the gene function, maybe we'll be able to do something, but uh, it will be later on. It, it will take some time before we come up with a, with a treatment, with an effective treatment.